Math is so dumb. No, it's not. 75% of all jobs require math. But I don't know what classes to take. There are a ton of math electives that you can take. In statistics, we're going to learn the basics and the foundations of an introductory statistics course. They will learn about probabilities. They will learn about normal models. They will learn about probability distributions. They will learn about predictions using inference. A lot of probability and statistics information that they would see in a first year college class. Um, students would take this class for several reasons. They might want to fill their schedule. Um, to get the credits for graduation. They might want to take this class to get college credits. You can earn four college credits through taking this course. And they might just want to further their knowledge in the mathematics field um, where they want to pursue a, a college career in something related to math. So several reasons why a student would take this class. In statistics, um, professions and occupations and majors that would um, uh, require a statistics course. This is probably the most broad math course that we offer that um, all majors nowadays in college are a lot of times requiring a statistics course. So a lot of fields that you would enter into, business, marketing, economics, finance, even the upper engineering, teaching, they're all requiring statistics courses today. So it's a great course to take um, if you plan on going to college and pretty much majoring in anything. Um, I think the most important thing you learn is like all the functions on a calculator and you learn how to um, use the calculator to your benefit. Every math class that you've taken prior to calculus teaches you how to study calculus. You're finding slopes of lines and you find the equation of a line and you know how you do that? You do the same thing with calculus. But now you're gonna use those lines. You're gonna use those lines to tell you like a trend of what's happening. We can find a rate of change, for example. So in calc, we can come up with an equation that'll model anything that you can think of. The number of medical doctors that were being added every year in the year 2010 or 2014. You use calculus to be able to answer questions like that that tells you how things are changing and that's what really calc is about. It's based on change, change and accumulation. So that's what we're learning in calc right now. We're learning to deal with rates of change. Okay. Thank you. On mathematically. So the reason we study calc is really to know, to learn, to be able to learn and understand the mathematics that you've already learned, because when you're done with Calc 1, you're going to be excellent at, at, at algebra. You'll be real good with the algebra and the lines and all that stuff. It's important because that's what it teaches you, what you've done and whatever you're going to do in the future. Anything you're going to do in the future mathematically, Calc is going to have a basis in it. And even though you might not be told it's calculus, it would still have a basis in there. A lot of colleges, a lot of colleges require calc even though they're not taking a math major. A lot of businesses are people that are hiring. They love it when students take that calc course because it teaches you how to think. So that's what I'm doing. I'm teaching students how to think with calc. Okay. I can tell you this. Finances is a big one. Financial. The financial market. It's not just based on finances. Like I said, every what calculus does is it teaches you how to think. The AP calc test is very difficult. Every student that takes it that takes calc, a lot of them take that AP test, but every student that takes that calc course is, is refining and learning their, learning how to think algebraically, but also problem solve, and that's a big idea right there, basis idea. A lot of businesses, a lot of uh, companies, they love it when students have that basis of problem solving, because that's what calc teaches you how to do. It gives you a nice, solid foundation for problem solving. All right. Can you just get one here? So, uh, what kids will learn in this class? Um, kids will learn how to, first of all, code in Java. And the really, it's a fundamental programming course. So, they're going to learn syntax, they're going to learn how to write code correctly. But the bigger picture is kids are learning how to break down problems and uh, take complex tasks and break them down into smaller tasks to solve a problem. Okay. 
uh, beyond, like I said, about just breaking down a problem, which is necessary for a lot of disciplines, uh, the act of coding to understand what, how to write code to make it do something else is applicable in a lot of different careers. Um, a lot of the sciences, but also uh, you know, finance, uh, any field really expects you to have some understanding of how to code something. If it's not Java, it's maybe Excel, it's maybe, uh, you know, it could be another language. It could, you just need to know HTML, it could be that. You just need to know how to turn code into something useful for somebody else. It could be a website, it could be a robot, it could be you know, some spreadsheet that's calculating finance. You need some sort of skill developed there. Um, you learn the basics of programming in Java, so making methods, um, using loops, and um, interacting with like robots, um, like digital robots that you can um, move and change the setting of a board. Uh, this class is uh, very applicable in the job market and um, very modern because more and more people are needing to know how to use these skills. I'm really happy I took that class. Yeah, maybe math is for me.